Okay, I'm going to do a uh, demonstration video on how uh, to check a battery, starter, and alternator using a scan tool. Uh, this is one hooked into the OBD2 port. 98 Chevy Lumina. She has 157,000 on the clock. Uh, the alternator and starter on this car were put on it at uh, 148,000 miles. Uh, they are rebuilt originals off another same year engine I had. I had these rebuilt, installed them, and uh, when I sold the other car, I uh, sold the worn out, barely functioning units with it as cores. So, just sitting here, my battery has 12.45 volts and it says press OK to continue. Start engine. This thing clatters when it's cold. It has piston slap. It has a noisy lifter that I didn't rebuild. Okay. Turn off the Verizon commercial. Start cranking normal. Cranking volts, 7.65. Volt percentage, 58. Cranking time, 2.13 seconds. Okay. Now, my uh, voltage running uh, with out all the accessories on is 14.73 down to 69 up to 73 um, okay to continue now uh, escape circuit test now I'm trying to remember how to do this test all trainer start test charge test. Okay, I said to select a different part of the menu. Hold engine RPM. Turn high beams and blower motor on. Okay. I always turn it to defrost because that puts the most drag on the belt. Turn it to hot. I always hit the rear defrost. I think my cruise control uh, wires my steering column are messing up. You can hear it cycling on and off at the brake pedal. Okay, hold the engine RPM, I'm doing 1200 RPM, it does not specify. Okay. Now, without holding the RPM, it's holding itself at 1000. Load volts. 1375 load off volts 1377 now then let me just hold this at uh, 1500 rpm do this again and uh, you can see 1371 volts uh, that shows me my battery is working. It is a uh, three-year-old battery in this car, or a four-year-old. Uh, this car, you can take two, three short trips with all the accessories on, the rear defrost, the blower motor on high, the radio on, uh, cell phone charger plugged into the lighter port, yada, yada and uh, you will not end up with problems now my ford explorer on the other hand has corrosion on the battery cables again and if you do that you will end up after your third or your fourth short trip without going like four miles between stops with a dead battery if you go three four miles between stops you're fine but if you go and go a mile a half mile three quarters mile you're probably not going to get it to restart that last time without jumping it
Bye.